Hi. Today we're going to talk about image optimization. Um, basically, the process whereby we take an image and we compress it without trying to lose too much of the detail. The reason we do this is so that when a web page loads, we don't eat up all the bandwidth with heavy images that need to be downloaded before the page can load. It slows page page loading, it also uses up all the bandwidth. So what we want to do is make the images small enough to quickly download so that the page will quickly load. Now I'm going to open an image that is particularly heavy. So I'm going to make sure you are in Photoshop. Go and open up an image, file open. Um, I'm looking in my downloads, there's some images that I've downloaded that are pretty heavy, so I'm looking at the size more often than not. I think I've got a 4 meg image somewhere in here. Yep, there it is. There. That's a 4 meg image. So I'm going to open that image and we're going to try and optimize it. I love this image. It's very clear, very sharp. And I want to use it in my web page. Now you can instantly reduce the size of an image by deciding that you're not going to use the entire um, image, but you're only going to use a proportion of it. So let's have a look at this image size. The image, go to image in Photoshop and go to image size and it actually shows you the size, the dimensions. If it's, if it's in centimeters, take it to pixels. So you've got an image that is 7360 by pixels by 4912 pixels, which is pretty big. So we can afford to instantaneously just reduce the size. So I am, make sure that this is on. If you do that, then the, when you change one, the other will not change, which is a disproportionate um, resizing. What you want to do is a proportionate resize, which is to ensure that these two little lines are showing and this is kind of darkened. So I'm going to take this down instantly up to 1024, which is a standard size for um, an um, a, a, um, a website width if, if it's going to be non-scrolling. So there you go. That's my image. We've dropped it down in size and it's still pretty sharp. So we can have a look at what the size is now down to 2 megs. This is now 2 megs. So it's already instantly the size has dropped to half. Now what we want to do next is um, I'm going to use it for a banner. So I actually don't want the entire amount of the image. So what you can do is you can um, crop crop the image. You can, you can actually just crop what you need from the image. So you might want to just sample what you want in the image. So uh, just kind of like select. I want maybe that amount for my banner. I'm going to create it for a banner. So I may want to just select this and I'm going to crop out something like that. Yeah. So go back to image and I'm going to crop the image. So it's going to crop it down to there. So again, I've taken this now. If you look at the bottom here, you'll see that it is 856, um, 858. The image size has dropped again, but it's still not sufficient. It's still too big. And the best way <coughs> to optimize this image is to actually go to file and go down to export and go down to save for web. Now when you click that, it brings up a box that says optimize and it brings up some settings that you can use to optimize down the right hand side. It gives you the preset, whether you want a high JPEG, um, JPEG the, jet, the format is JPEG, the level of quality is high, the percentage of quality whether it's progressive, so the image as it's loading goes from a low quality image to a high quality image. But bear in mind that most web, um, some web, um, browsers don't support this. It could be blurred. The matting is to do with if you are changing it from a PNG to a JPEG, then the transparent background needs to be accounted for. So if you are doing that, you need to make sure that this color is the color of the background that you are placing the image on. So if it's a black background, you choose black. If it's a white background, you choose white, whatever the background color. Now convert to our RSGB, which is the internet standard red, green, blue colors. Um, if you need copyright information, you've got the image size. And, bear, and remember that whilst it's like this, any changes you make to the width will automatically cause a corresponding change in the height in a, so that the change is proportionate and the image is not skewed. Down here, you see that this JPEG is 4503, 45 kilobytes, which is not bad. We want um, a very, and it takes nine seconds. That's not bad. That's not bad if we have 
a JPEG high resolution optimized. If it's not optimized, what happens? So it's a slight difference. So we could simply um, go, instead of going for a high JPEG, you could go for a medium one. And if you get two up, one down, the original is at the top, the um, optimized one, which is at five seconds now, see the difference? It's only a slight difference. You'll notice there's a slight blurring here and the image is a slightly less sharp quality, but really not sufficient enough to, to cause any heartache. Your download rate's gone to five seconds. Let's just have a look at what um, JPEG low. JPEG low, it's gone down to four seconds. It's becoming a bit grainy there. Yeah, so you might not want to go that low, so you might as well go for JPEG high, but an optimized version, which is a bit sharper, takes nine seconds. And it's only 45 kilobytes as opposed to 858 kilobytes. And once you're satisfied with your optimization and you're, you're primarily looking at the quality and the, and the file size and the fact that it's a JPEG format, because JPEG is a format that supports um, image, um, images being compressed. So if you need to ensure that if you have a PNG file, you need to export it as a JPEG. And remember that in terms of um, PNG, you'd change the matting. You'd make the mat the same color as the background. But this one, and then have a look at the quality. I think this is about right, and the download speed is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now save that. Um, save name. Um, you might want to put a slice. I might put OP just to show it's optimized in my downloads, in my document folder, whatever, in documents for now and save. That's it. And that's how you export um, an image in an optimized state to be used on a web product, a website. Let's have a look at whether it's actually that size. So let's go in. I put it in documents. I think it was, uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm an off something, something. It's somewhere around here. There it is. There it is. And as you can see, it's 47 KB. So indeed, it's done what it's meant to do. And that's how you optimize images and the reason for optimizing images. So try it yourself and we'll meet again on another session. Thank you. Bye.